I woke up getting ready for work thinking it was just a day like any other. Check YouTube and then it hit me. Oh shit, I have to do a day 2 of my Zero to Mirror video series. It's okay, I will get it done after work. Work is done now, let's get down to the real grind. So I opened Path of Exile and I started the day slowly, sadly, by spending my divines from the day one into my build. So I bought a pig face bassinet with the enchant on it. I, uh, thankfully, I, ha I only paid 60 chaos for it. That one is 150 chaos, that one too. But I was lucky to only spend 60 chaos on it. But then I realized I had no essence to craft the base, so I went ahead and bought a Kirak memory of essences and I started running the maps. Just a quick tip if you're running Einar memory of crystal prisons, uh, make sure you remove your voice tone first and only do it on the lower tier of maps because. It will not affect the loot of the essences. So tier 1 white map or tier 16 fully juice is still the same essences that will drop. So we suggest, especially if you're struggling with currency, just do it on tier 1 map. Also, make sure you get some remnant of corruption because most of the essences are worth corrupting. So whenever you see a shrieking one, Make sure, at least a shrieking, make sure you use a remnant of corruption. It can gain a tier and get up to a defending essence. And also the purple essences can be get corrupted essences instead. So it's super worth to corrupt most of them uh, in memories. If, if you cannot afford the remnant of corruption, just don't run the memories until you can. Alright, now that I have everything, I can craft my helmet. So I'm looking for uh, spell suppression, maybe uh, some other useful, like resist or something like that. I build life is cool, but the rest is kind of garbage. And regen life, no. Uh, that a lot of armor invasion, but. Block mana, uh, not mana. I mean, on a suffix, what do I do not want? Uh, ah, three, four. All right, that's pretty cool. I'll keep it for now. All right, now that the helmet was done, the next step was plus two jewels so I bought a couple of bases and crafted them and went kind of overboard with it because I wanted to get the best of the best for my build so I crafted seven of those whenever they add three passive skills I stopped rerolling them and listed them for sale so that way I can make currency and start from scratch since the base were pretty cheap they were like eight to ten chaos per Alright, so now I started running blueprints and I only ran the uh, unusual gems blueprint. And I suggest you skip most of the stuff. So for blueprints, especially for the unusual gems blueprint, the reward is at the end. So you want to make sure you do not break the alarm and have time to pick up on what gem you're, you're, you want to pick up. So if you're using Awakened... POE trade, you can actually uh, press shift and spacebar to access the menu and then you can price check just like uh, you will see in the video, you can price check every single one of them by typing what's the name of it and selecting what type of anomaly uh, quality it has and uh, yeah that's a good way you, instead of checking every time on the website or trying to memorize everything. Also for blueprints I really like using 
Hawk, and the reason why I like using Hawk is that it gives a percentage of bonus XP depending on his level. So it's pretty cool. It's a good way to make some level in Heist. That's how I start every single league. I would suggest you try it at least. Uh, I know it's not for everyone because in Heist you have to wait at doors and it's a pretty shitty mechanic to be honest. But it's super rewarding, especially if you know what you're doing. And early on, like the random jewelry you will pick up. Uh, when I say early on, I mean in the first few, few days of the, of the league. The random jewelry you will pick up will probably all sell. So people are looking for capping their resist at first. So if you pick up anything which, which has like a uh, hundred uh, resist on the rank, it will sell for crazy prices. So yeah, as I said, it's not a deep dive into highs, but I just wanted to share with you what I was doing for day two. I would also appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel. I put a lot of work into this video. It took me a long time. Hopefully I get better at editing, but for now it takes a lot of time for me to edit everything. So that means less grinding, right? The game of Path of Exile is pretty deep, but if you can get good at one thing and really know something, and really know everything about it, you will make currency. I don't care whatever it is, if you are doing blueprints like I am on this video, if you are doing uh, craft with frogs, if you are doing... Uh, just a single craft, if you know how to do, let's say, uh, a super good double influence body armor, you will always make currency. So you can craft one, sell sell the one you crafted, buy the bases back, make, make another one. As long as you know how to do it, you can see when it's profitable and when it's not. So I suggest getting really good at crafting at least one item or getting good at with one mechanic, if you know one mechanic really hard and you understand everything about it, you will make more currency than the average player who engages with that mechanic. Just, just take your time and learn something and make sure you master it. Once you master it, you can jump onto another mechanic. If you are trying to learn every single thing at the same time, you will be average at everything. But if you are really good at one thing, you will get rich in trade league no matter what. So now my character is level 93, which is pretty good if we were on League Start, League 2. Uh, I died twice since I killed Kitava. Still fine though. Uh, I tried running some uh, Alva reversed memories and they were too rough for my character right now. So I have to do it more later. Uh, aside of that, right now I'm only sitting on 4 Divines. Uh, I invested everything I had into some more projects and we will see if it pays out on day three. Take care guys.